Hello people. Earlier this year, Samsung surprised the fans of the Galaxy S, which abandoned the strategy of using two chips of the Galaxy S23 series and supplied the flagship trio with Qualcomm chips all over the world. Exynos was absent, but only temporarily. It is reported that the Exynos chip will return to the Galaxy S line next year, but even in this case, everything will be different. A new rumor suggests that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will work exclusively on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset for the Galaxy all over the world. At the same time, the rest of the line will be divided as in the good old days. According to market data, the Galaxy S23 Ultra became the best-selling Samsung flagship in the first half of 2023. In fact, it was the best-selling Android phone in the world, and I suspect that the exclusivity of the Snapdragon was one of the reasons for such success. Again, the basic model and the plus model equally won from this exclusivity of the chip, but could not make the top 10. The Ultra model is clearly ahead of its peers. By the way, I have the numbers of sales of the Korean investment company, which show that the total sales of the Galaxy S23 reached $18.63 million in the first six months of availability. Compared to the flagship Galaxy S22 in the first six months of its presence on the market, the sales of the Galaxy S23 have increased by about 23%. According to the research company, Samsung sold 8.89 million models of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, 3.31 million models of the Galaxy S23 Plus and 6.43 million basic models. In total, the Galaxy S23 seems to have exceeded the sales of the Galaxy S23 Plus almost twice, but none of the basic models reaches the level of the Ultra model. Nevertheless, the company may have decided that it will use the Snapdragon chip exclusively for flagship phones of 2023. Many fans prefer Snapdragon, and as a result, Samsung may not easily return to its classic two-sided strategy and divide the market between the Exynos and Snapdragon chips throughout the flagship series, as it was before. The theory now is that the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus will use the unannounced Exynos 2400 processor on some markets and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on others, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra will use the Snapdragon chip all over the world to calm its fans. Smart move, what to say? As for the chips themselves, the Exynos 2400 chip on paper seems, as usual, promising, especially since Samsung had much more time to develop it. It is said that it has 10 cores of the processor and twice as many cores of the graphics processor as the Exynos 1200. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for the Galaxy has 8 cores of the processor, and the frequency of some cores is higher than that of the standard version of the chip. It is reported that Samsung plans to update the display of the entire Galaxy S24 series, and not just the Ultra model. It is assumed that all three versions will have brighter displays, and the Galaxy S24 Plus may boast a panel with a higher resolution than its recent predecessor. Perhaps you have heard the recent rumor that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will get a truly bright AMOLED display with a peak value of 2,500 nits. Well, the news is getting better. Samsung can provide new displays for the entire Galaxy S24 series, and they will be able to achieve the same level of brightness as the Ultra model. According to rumors, the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus and S24 Ultra will be able to achieve the maximum brightness level of 2,500 nits. And that's not all. In addition to providing brighter displays for the upcoming Galaxy S24 series, Samsung can also equip the Plus variant with a panel of a higher resolution. Instead of 2340 by 1080 pixels, the Galaxy S24 Plus is expected to get a resolution of 3120 by 1440 pixels. Samsung did not use the WQHD Plus resolution for the S24 Ultra model. The Galaxy S series since the days of the Galaxy S20 Plus, the later models had a lower resolution, and I know that some did not like it, so if the cases are correct, the Galaxy S24 Plus will have a display with a higher resolution and a much higher peak brightness. With these changes, Samsung will definitely make an impression on enthusiasts of technical characteristics, but on the other hand, the time of autonomous operation can potentially suffer, so it is not yet known whether these changes will really lead to an improvement in user experience. We'll see. And finally, Samsung presented seven new products at the Galaxy Unpacked event last month, however, the company has not yet finished the release of new models and plans to release a couple of new tablets, a smartphone, and a few notches. According to insider Max Jambora, the South Korean company plans to release the Galaxy S23 FE, Galaxy Tab S9 FE, Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus, Galaxy Buds 3 and Galaxy Smart Tag 2 by the end of this year.
According to Samsung, the Galaxy S23 FE will be equipped with a 64-inch Super AMOLED screen with a frequency of 120Hz and a full HD Plus resolution, an Exynos 2200 processor, 8GB of RAM, 128 or 256 gigabytes of built-in memory, stereo speakers and IP67 waterproofing. It is reported that the phone is equipped with a 10-megapixel selfie camera, a 50-megapixel main rear camera, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide-angle camera and a 8-megapixel 3x optical telephoto camera. According to previous reports, the Galaxy S23 FE will have a battery capacity of 4,500 mAh and a fast charge of 25 watts. It is expected that it will be equipped with a fast wireless charging power of 15 watts and a reverse wireless charging power of 4.5 watts. The phone will also receive a built-in fingerprint scanner display. In the box, it will work under One UI 5.1.1 based on Android 13 and Galaxy Tab S9 FE, and Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus will use the same Exynos 1380 processor, 8 or 12 GB of RAM, 128 or 256 GB of built-in memory and a microSD card slot. The Galaxy Tab S9 FE will receive a 10.9-inch screen and a single rear camera, and the Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus will receive a 12.4-inch screen and a dual rear camera. Both tablets are equipped with S Pen, stereo speakers, and Android 13. It was expected that the Galaxy Buds 3 will be released with the Galaxy Flip 5 and Fold 5, but this did not happen. Real headphones will probably be equipped with a new version of Bluetooth and support for Ely Audio. Nothing more is known about these headphones. And the Galaxy Smart Tag 2 will be equipped with a built-in Bluetooth 5.3 Ultra Wideband and will have IP68 protection. That's all, my friends. Thank you very much for watching to the end. You, as always, handsome. See you very soon in the next video. Good luck to everyone.